Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you joined me today for part three of Spring City. Finish this thing. And um, so here was my reference and here was my painting. It's nice to have a monitor uh, when you paint. And uh, I encourage you, if you can get one, you can just plug it into your computer and you have a bigger image right there next to your painting. And it helps me. All right, so today was detail day, and to tell you the truth, I spend most of my time on the bottom of this painting getting this meadow right, because in part two, we spend a lot of time up above. So get outside and paint. Paint with your friends. Get critiques, and don't be intimidated by a white canvas. All right, keep painting. All right, I'll see you down the road, but let's get this one started and finished. All right, bye-bye. Hello, and welcome to part three of Spring City. Oh boy, so we spent a lot of time yesterday trying to get this drawing right, and uh, what I did to off camera was to make a nice bright there and a nice bright there with Naples. and. Um, so, I think that contrast between the dark and the light has uh, really uh, knocked this painting to a higher level. So, um, today I've got to concentrate down here. I don't like my fence. I think it's in the wrong place. I've got to change things. And I don't like the color. And um, I still think I could use more work up in here in the way of detail. And um, other than that, uh, we have a very busy 30 minutes ahead of us. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. So I want to, um, I think my fence is too low in places. I think that walk might help if I put that in. So let me work on that and figure out how to get a walk in there. So with that, I'm going to go with uh, a little bit stiffer brush, and uh, it's a bit of a like a hog hair. It's uh, not a rosemary. It's something from the local store here. And I think what we we want to do is make a gray with a little touch of purple in it, and get some ideas of walk in here, or path, and introduce that. I think the other thing is we need to darken the fence posts. They're too brown. I want to just make them dark. I, I think the reference is telling me to do that, so let me uh, just uh, get some blue some transparent oxide brown, a little bit of maples, I think I need more blue, and let me work on that a little bit, let me see that, well, that's really nice, okay, here we go. And of course, I didn't make enough. I used a lot of it when I made that thing with the, the knife. The knife uses a lot of it. I can use some, some gray in here to lighten it up a little bit. Light gray. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That feels really good. I'm using a kind of a delicate brush here. It's a 279 number two. So it's kind of long and it's a nice long. Bristles to it. And as I go back, I want to try to make things thinner. 
add One thing I did also last night was to run a bead of gray across here in a couple strands because what I see in the reference is a, a kind of a different fence. Um, this is kind of bringing everything together back there, so I, I kind of like that. All right, I need some darks at the base of the fence maybe with some shadow. So I'm going to get some blue cobalt, some gray, and get some of that in. And I'll get some grays around the whites too, the top of the whites. Okay, with that, let's see what we can do with a mixture here. Off camera this morning, I tried to come up with a nice mixture for the meadow. Oh boy, so let's put this off to one side. And... Make sure that you have some lemon yellow out, um, Hansa yellow uh, light could do it, or more particularly it's Naples, not Naples, just a lemon would probably do it. Another one is um, Cad Lemon, well that's what I got. Here we go. Squeeze that out along with think you have enough stuff out here already. And let me get back and take a look at what is needed. Kind of a yellowy green and I will take a stab at it. Let's see if I can duplicate what I had this morning. So uh, we had some, um, if you have some permanent green that'll do it. Or if um, you have something called uh, Emerald Green by Gamma, that's nice. Those two things will work for you. And so that's going to be our base, is that green. Then we're going to get some yellow ochre. Some Cad Yellow Medium. Some lemon yellow, lemon, and more lemon. More yellow, get yellow, and maybe a touch of light white here, or some gray. I think light gray will do it, light gray. And that looks pretty darn close to what I had this morning. I'll just mix that up. And if I don't have enough product, shoot me in the head because I've got this, i got a lot of it out there. But I have a lot of territory to cover. So let's go with something uh, kind of large. And I'm going to start with a number 6279. It's a little stiff from yesterday, so let me just run some gambling through it. Dry it out appropriately. It has a nice, nice feel about it. And what I want to do maybe before I get too far down the road is work around these fence posts a little bit. more of Gamma to kind of loosen up this product a little bit. And I may have to do some doctoring around my 
my post, I painted over it right there. <laughs> Pay attention. I'm going to get back and take a look. Ooh, I like what's going on. Okay. Whew. Boy, let's get busy. take care of here. Try not to have halos around these fence posts. Halos, I mean, are kind of like the undercolor showing through. That I didn't get close enough to the fence post to eliminate the, the halo. want to make a, well, I call them New Mexico fences. Fences in New Mexico are all crooked and never straight, but I kind of like these things that are bent and, you know, various forms and shapes. All right. Now what I want to do is add more white in Naples. And in a few places add some some lights, like along the fence post here. And I see a nice light patch up in here. More Naples, more light, white, Naples. Back to the strong stuff. And I'm skinning out my fence posts. And I think that one's too short. I'm going to have to fix him. Whew, man, this is a little bit of work. And I'm going to make more lights along here. And next I'm going to use a technique where I lift things and bring out some of the undercolor. interplay between the top and the bottom. But also means you have to kind of go back and forth to kind of bring back some consistency in here. And now for some lights, the Naples. Now back to the greens, the harder stuff. You see how that interplay, that back and forth, can make for some interest. So it just doesn't look like all one color.
changing paper towels because they get so mucked up. Need some light again. softening up this upper edge with some of these lights. And you see that has a nice effect. And I might as well use some of this in the trees in the background because it's such a great color. That kind of livens things up a little bit, doesn't it? Got some darks off here to the side, and I need a dark right here. That did it. I think I need a dark right here. And that did it too. Back to the green. Okay. Let's go back to fence posts now. I think this has to be taller. Boy, I'm really liking the effect of what's going on down there. I think I need some lighter lights on the sidewalk in a few places. Here. Not too much. Back to purple. And let's get a little bit of rust or transparent oxide red within the... Um, around the cobblestones here. Just a little bit of warm in here. We'll go a long way. Just a touch. Not getting it, come on. There we go, that's a little stronger. Not too much. Let's go back to purple and white. To here. To here. And here. That is too strong right there. It just pops out too much. I want to say walk, but I don't want to say too strong of a deal here. And I'll get some dark on one side here, and here, and I'll get some purple in some of these. And let's really take a look at the fence line, and you can see there's a lot of darks and dark shadows around the fence line. So I'm using some of the fence color because it's nice and dark. I'm running short, so... Let's get back to a little bit more blue. And... work that fence a little bit. That's working better. Better, but this is a little too strong. Let's knock it down with a little bit lighter gray right in here.
Now, a lot of you say, well, I have to have a fence line in there. So, I don't know, if you go with too much, it really, I think if you're going to do anything, do something really light. Start down here on the bottom. And just do really light stuff. Like a light gray or something like that. And don't do the whole thing, just hints of it. I think when people try to do these cross members, they put them in sometimes too strong. And let your eye figure out what's going on instead of detailing too much uh, in these things. Okay, I'm going to go to a smaller brush here, and it looks like a number 2279. And I'm going to continue to get a little darker in my green. So I'm adding some ultra blue to my green. Ultra blue. Not doing the whole thing, just sections of it. And I want to try to say some shadow things up in here. along the fence line. A little bit more blue. And I'm going to put a pretty good shadow in here. A little bit more ultra blue. That mixture. Here. And if you put in too much, come back and reform it. I'll just put a dark coming in from the side, like there's some shadow thing over there. Now let's uh, put some Naples and Transparent Oxide Red in here, just to show that there's some worms in the pasture. Okay, let's get some more of that. Naples, brown. I just don't want to have everything all the same and in introducing to you ways to deal with that. There's also some darks down here just because it's, I don't know, it's grass or something It's coming up. And it's just a good way to add variety at the base of these fence posts. So you can do a lot with that. See, I, I don't want a foreground that big and not have some interest going on in there. So now I'm going to introduce some darks in here. I see it in the reference, so that's why I'm putting them in these particular places. Ultra blue, top of the green, and you can see these things of grass in here. And I'm going to go up in here and do some dark patches also. Break up some of the worms. And now back to hard greens. And they'll break up some shapes too. I'm going to go emphasize some Naples even more. I'm going to even add a little bit of cad yellow right in here. Get some white. And let's brighten this up a little bit.
more white, more white, more Naples. And some down in here too. Back to green. I'm going to lighten my green now with some white and get that in here. You say, when is he going to finish this meadow? I better take it with my time. I got lots of time. Okay, now I need some really, really squeaky bright. White, so I'm adding some light viridian to this, some white. So it's kind of introducing a little bit of a blue, blue green. We'll see what that does. Look at my poor brush, it's just grouped up. Let me see if I can get my brush back. There we go. Sometimes this layering is so much fun. You have different layers influencing what's on top of it. And I don't want to make it too goopy say I'm a goopy painter. There is a place for goopy, but not all over the painting. Oh, that's, that's stunning. That little bit of viridian in there and white, it's a light viridian, really has a nice look about it. I'll put some right here on the, on the fence. See how that just makes it glow along this fence line. And it's softening some of the bottoms of these fence posts. Again, I still need a dark or two, a really, really good dark on the fence line. So let me go back to Viridian, Ultra Blue, Ultra Blue, a little bit of Transparent Oxide Red. This sucker's strong, okay? I've got to get a softener on it. Let me get some more blue and white on it, just a little. And Get some shadows on here. That shows up. And if, in fact, you've lost a fence post, just go ahead and put it back in, like I just did. And I need some dark on here. And I think I'm a little too bright with my, my white, so let me gray it down there. There. There, there, and there. I better be bringing this to a close. We are just coming up on time. And before that dinger dings me and makes me jump, I'm going to stop the timer at 44 seconds. Thank you so much for coming by for Spring City, Utah building. 
I appreciate it very much. I hope you enjoy it and uh, keep painting. All right. Bye-bye.